today's video, myself and Luke have moved out and are now living in the woods. So with us today is the Nash base camp and a few other little items as well. So let's jump inside and run you through some of the key points. So as you can see, we are now inside the base camp and it's a pretty big bit of kit. Um, it's not for everyone. We're gonna, gonna tell you that from the start because it is very large and uh, we had to pick a, a venue accordingly. But luckily we found a nice bit of room amongst the woodland here. Mm -hmm. But what is the purpose of it? Because obviously it is a very oh, big- Oh wait, I, I can still, I can already, I can already hear people typing, saying what on earth fishing come to, why do you need all that stuff on the bank? And if you're that guy, feel free to not bother commenting that. That's fine if it's not for you, but this has a purpose, it has a place. If you're doing long sessions, maybe you're going abroad or just a long stay at home session at the moment, as we've all had to the last year or so, but hopefully travel restrictions will lift very soon. It's perfect for that, so a week in France or somewhere hot, it gives you a lot of space in here so you're not cramped in a little space and there's airflow everywhere. We'll get onto all the vents and things in a second, but today is very, very muggy um, and there's only so much something this can do. It's been disgustingly hot all week, but if we were in a little bivy on a session like this, it would be pretty disgusting. We would have probably passed out by now. Mm -hmm. So it, does, it makes such a difference doesn't it, by having all the airflow and bits uh, and pieces. And if the weather was to change and it was pouring down with rain, mm -hmm. it's still going to be much more comfortable to be sat in here with a big window being several feet from where the rain's landing and being nice and comfortable. And you can also stand up in here as well. So there you are. This is aimed towards someone that wants a bit more space on the bank, wants the comforts and doing a longer session. So you're probably looking at this thinking, that is a really big bit of kit. Like, how does it even fit in my car? Uh, but it's actually surprising how small it packs down. And uh, luckily, Curly was a donkey today, uh, and I was I was filming him. So he actually. Well, managed... you were complaining that your jab arm hurt. Yeah, I've got a poorly jab arm. But um, <laughs> yeah, basically, Curly managed to carry both bags. Uh, it basically comes in two bags. So you've got the gazebo that comes in one, and then the two pods that are attached to either side comes in a second bag. And it was manageable, wasn't it? If yeah. if you did want to carry it. Uh, you didn't have you probably to probably still stick it on a barrow just yeah. because you may as well if you do if you're bringing something this size the odds are you're bringing quite a lot of kits so you're going to be using a barrow so uh, yeah it's a lot easier sticking it on the barrow than uh, carrying it but it can be done it's, it's about the same size as a two-man bivy with a wrap yeah. i'd say so it's not like if you're going for a long session for needing that amount of space it's probably the equivalent of that yeah so uh we'll talk about the pods in a little bit but at the moment if we have a look at the configuration how we've got this set up uh we've tried to make it as comfortable as possible for us because it is very sticky very muggy and not a lot of uh wind or air or anything is there but we have got the vents open all the way around as you can see there's a big mesh vent behind us we've got the front completely open uh and like I say, the, the pods we will come onto properly in a little bit, but you have got mesh either side of the pods as well. So uh, although there's not much airflow at all, we've got the maximum possible today. There's loads of different options still though. You don't have to use the pods, so it could be just the gazebo you're using. And then all the way around, you've got complete infill panels. Under the infill panels, you can roll these up and then you've got mesh either side. You've got all different door options. So you've got mesh, PVC, um, like a clear PVC door, or you've got front infill panel as well. And then on the back, like I say, you've got the mesh or the, the full infill panel. So loads of options within the gazebo. Uh, and then obviously you can attach the pods as well. Yeah, and then you've also got the, the front door, which we've got completely rolled up at the moment. You can get a front porch pole kit. So basically two poles that click into the, or sort of slot into the little rubber o-rings on the corners of the front panel put them up and then peg them down and you've got a nice porch and it's basically the size of a garage door so it just gives you a nice porch area so if it's really hot and, and muggy you can sit outside but still have some shade and cover from the sun and one thing is worth noting as well with setting this up it can be done with one person mm -hmm. had to be done with one person today because obviously one person had to film and one person had to put it up so it is doable with one person as i did earlier but uh if you're going for a social occasion, odds are you've got some mates with you, so rope them in and it'll be a much quicker, more efficient job. But if you are on your own and you're the first one to the swim and all you mates say, make sure the social hub's up first, you can do it by yourself, but you get the first beer. So I know we keep throwing the word social around, but this really is a product that is for social occasions. And the pods, 
definitely lend this product to that as well, don't they? Definitely, and they, they go on so quickly. So as Luke was saying about the configuration of the, the main hub, the gazebo part of this uh, whole base camp, if you take out the side infill panels, you just directly zip on the pods which come with the base camp kit. So it is as simple as panel off, pod on. Obviously you've got to put the pod together and it's just as simple as setting up a prampered bivvy, if not more simple. Easy, yeah, three poles that have to go together or three ribs. You've got some uh, tension bars as well and it just sips straight on. And they come ready to go. So it's not like you have to then get in and sort out the inside. It has a vapor mesh and ground sheet capsule within the, the pod so it's completely cuts you off from any kind of creepy crawlies and anything like that but because it's a mesh and a vapor shield one it cuts down the condensation in cooler weather but it also keeps cooler and it allows that airflow to come through so at the very back of the pods is a massive mesh air vent as we said we've got all the mesh vents possible open for this session to try and get some airflow and that, that'll just make it much more comfortable but there's different configurations. You don't have to have both pods on, do you? No, you don't. So if, say you're fishing on your own or um, you're kind of wanting this as a, a social hub, but it's within your swim and you're not sharing it with someone, then you can use just one of the, um, one of the pods themselves. But there's all, like, like Joe says, there's all different ways that you can configure this. And I think if you're to use it yourself, then basically you'd have, we'd switch it around a little bit. So the pod would be at the back of the swim and then you've got the social area and then you can have the other side completely open, which then goes out to your rods. So there's yeah, all different ways of doing it, uh, but it's just, yeah, whatever, whatever fills your needs really. Mm -hmm. So if you want the two man bivvy to go with your mate, but you don't want to sleep this far apart from him, this is a great option to go with. Yeah, it gives you some space. Mm -hmm. So for a product quite as big as this, you'd probably expect a few accessories. So there is quite a few within the bank life range. Behind me, I've got the gazebo organizer. So this simply clips in place and then you've got little toggles all the way down and then it pegs in place down the bottom as well. And the idea of this is to hold keys, sunglasses, phones, things like that. So if there's a few of you sharing the shelter, you know where everything is, which is really handy. In front of me, you've got the bank life table and we've actually got a small version which has been more than adequate for today uh, but if there is a few more of you then there is a larger version of the table available and we, we have managed to cook on it it's fine for that sort of thing but if you want something a bit more uh, deluxe would you say dulux dulux durex wow deluxe deluxe are we carrying on with that <laughs> don't bother me okay if you want something a bit more dulux Deluxe, Dulux is paint. <laughs> and there's also a cook station available as well. So basically got a little bit of storage underneath and it's just got a few little extra accessories on it to make it a lot easier when it comes to, comes to cooking. Uh, alongside that, we've got the bivy hook, which is basically a magnetic hook. So if you want a bivy light or something within the gazebo, or if you even want your head torches on there. So if either one of you gets a bite overnight, then you can run out and obviously grab the head torch nice and easily. Obviously with Nash, there is loads more accessories that make life on the bank a lot easier. Things like this moon chair, which is super comfortable, which I've been sitting in most of the day. Uh, and also, like I say, there's a whole host of other accessories and bits and pieces, but overall, yeah, loads of great accessories available for the for the, the bank life range, really. And that brings us on neatly to prices. Now I'm gonna hit you straight away with the whole base camp price, which is $899.99. So uh, it is pretty heavy on the wallet, but you've got to think about what this is actually offering you. It's more than just a bivy, and it's more than just a gazebo. It does both. It's a central hub of, of social occasions. It's got a lot of different configurations, and it all comes as one big package. Well, essentially, it is, it's like buying two bivvies and a gazebo. It's just convenient that they all, all actually fit together. So if you think of it that way, you've almost got three, three parts to the, the kit that you buy in. Mm -hmm. So that's the what you've got to tell your missus anyway. And uh, moving on from that to the accessories, as I said, we've got the table with us today. That's the small, that comes in at around 64.99. And you've got the large one as well, which is 84.99. The organizer, the gazebo organizer comes in around the 27, 28 quid mark we found online. And the hook, handy little hook above us comes in at 12.99 as well. And of course, loads more in the range as Luke mentioned. So if you want to see some of those things, do head over to the Nash website and have a look through their bank life range because there's so much more to make living on the bank more comfortable because remember that's not a crime if you want to go fish and enjoy yourself and enjoy it in luxury that's uh, your choice nobody else's 
So I think that's pretty much the base camp summed up. And like Joe said, if you want to find any more information, then head over to the Nash Tackle website. For now, I think that's about it. So if you did like this sort of content, make sure you subscribe to Carpology on YouTube and follow us on our various social media platforms, so such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But for now, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.